Question one starts off with a fairly straightforward task, which basically just involves using your calculator. We've been given this information here about um, the students who travelled to a gym together. We've got their ages, and then we've counted the number of students with each age. So, in effect, all we've got to do to find the mean age and the median age is plug this into the stats function on our calculator. So you're going to uh, set up a new spreadsheet, you're going to put in the age and the frequencies. Now remember, frequency isn't a variable itself. So when we come to analysis, you're going to go to one variable analysis, because the only variable is age. And that will give you, amongst other things, the mean age, which should be 17.5, and the median age, which should be 16.5. There's no need here to actually work it out you could, uh, by hand. You can get all the marks by using your GDC. The second part then, draw a box and whisker diagram for these students on the following grid. Here we've even been given the lower quartile, which is 16, and the upper quartile, which is 18.5. So, a uh, box and whisker plot. The box is going to be based around the median. So we found the median was uh, 16.5, so that's here. That's going to go up to 18.5, which is here which is the upper quartile, and then it's going to go down to 16, which is the lower quartile, which is here. So that is our box. The whiskers then are going to be the um, values, The well, they're going to take us up to the maximum and minimum values. So the maximum value from the table we can see is 22 years. So that is going to go all the way up here, and the minimum value is 14, which is going to go down here, so uh, we can label those uh, if we want the exact values, but the key thing is the structure. You've got the median here, this is the lower quartile range, the upper, sorry, the lower quartile and the upper quartile, and these are the uh, maximum and minimum values.